Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial. Today I'll show you how to set up a PCG graph with our skeletal trees to build an entire forest in just a couple of minutes. I created this landscape using a height map. I found this height map package on fab.com. It's free and I'll have the link in the description if you want to follow along. Here I used the Stranger Lens 6 map. But you can of course use any environment you want. To speed things up, I'm also using a free landscape auto material from FAB. Link is in the description as well. Just drag the mountain range example to the material slot of your landscape. So, let's get started and build our forest. Right click in the content browser. Go to PCG and PCG Graph and select Create Empty Graph. If you don't see the PCG option, you need to enable the Procedural Content Generation Framework plugin first. But in Unreal Engine 5.7 it should already be enabled by default. First we need to define our skeletal trees as a parameter. Click the plus icon, name it Trees Set the type to Skeletal Mesh and switch it from Single to Array, so we can add multiple variations. Add a few indices and assign your skeletal trees. For this tutorial I am using the default Aspen preset variations and the Black Elder preset variations I downloaded from FAB. Now add a World Ray Hit Query node and connect it to a surface sampler node. Drag the PCG graph into the scene. To see what's going on, select the surface sampler node and press D to enable the debug mode. Now you can see the points where our trees will be spawned later. Here you can adjust the general density of spawn points, the visual size of the points and the looseness. If the looseness is set to zero, the points appear in a perfect grid. For now, we leave everything at default. Next, add a Transform Points node to customize the points even more. Turn off the debug mode for the surface sampler and enable it for the transform points. Now we can change the offset rotation and scale to get more variety. Set the max Z rotation to 360 so every point rotates randomly between 0 and 360 degree. And set the scale minimum to 0 0.7 and maximum to 1.3 to create size variations. Also make sure uniform scale is enabled. Let's add a density filter to thin out the amount of points. The different grey values represent the density weights of each point. Here we can define a minimum and maximum threshold to control which points will be used for our trees. Now we bring our tree parameter into the graph. Add a get graph parameter node. Set the property path to the name of our array parameter, trees. For the output attribute name, Choose how we want to call this data later in the mesh spawner. Let's name it Forest. Next, create a match and set attributes node. Connect the density filter to the input pin and the parameter node to the match data pin. Finally, add an instanced skinned mesh spawner node. You'll see an error until you set the mesh attribute name to the name we just defined. So, Type Forest. To activate the wind, assign the wind transform provider in the provider slot. You may notice that the trees grow along the landscape's surface angle. If you want your trees to grow straight up, open the Transform Points node and enable Absolute Rotation. And let's add a bit more variety by setting the min x and y rotation to negative 5 and the max x and y rotation to plus 5. Now it's time to scale and position the PCG volume inside the level. 
Let's make it big. Our trees will only spawn inside the boundary box of the PCG volume. So you can completely change the look just by moving or scaling the volume. For example, if the bottom of the PCG volume sits above the landscape's surface, no trees will spawn in the area outside the boundary box. Ok, that looks very nice to me. To give it a final touch, let's add a little lake in this area. Create a simple plane. Scale it up and move it where the lake should be. Go to the material slot and search for water. There's already a default water material in the engine. And of course you can not only fly above your forest, you can also walk through it and enjoy every detail. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and it was helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, just leave a comment. Cheers!